This lesson, we are going to be using some data that exists within a form. So it's a very simple form and looping through and getting all of the response data and then we're outputting it within a spreadsheet. We're going to be extracting data from a form. So you can either create a brand new form which has some data and then add, add some data into it or you can use an existing form. So I do have a form that I've been using here. It does have it actually doesn't have any responses yet. So let's uh, create some responses for here. And that will give us some responses within the data. It's a very simple form. So now when we go into the responses, we've got a couple of responses. So we're going to be using app script to extract out the information from this form. First of all, we're going to need the form ID. So go ahead and select the ID of the form. The easiest way to get that is to go into the web URL and select it from there. And then let's create the function and get my data. And that's going to be the name of the function. So give it a variable name. So for the ID, so this is the ID of the form. We're going to need that in order to identify the form object and then be able to access it and make use of it. So let's uh, create a form variable using the form app service, then open by ID. And this is where we use the ID that we just copied. So that will allow us to access the form object. And it's always a good idea to make sure that it is working, that you do have the form working. So that's why I'm just using the logger log there, run it, and we should see that we've got the form object. So once we have the form object, we can get the responses from the form object. So this is going to come back as an array. So using the form, and we've got all of this information that we can get from the form. So we can add content, we can get descriptions and delete items. So we want to get the responses array. So what this is going to do is going to retain back an array of all of the responses in the form. So we know right now we do only have the two responses. So those are both of the responses there that we have. So we can use the responses object and use array methods on it. And we're going to be using the for each in order to get out each response back out of the responses so that we can take a closer look at the data. And within the response, we can get the different items of the responses. So for now, let's load and we'll get the response values there. So within the logger log, we'll just log out the response value there. So that will give us both of the responses. And there's our form response object. So what we want to do from the form response object, we want to then get the item information. So that's the item responses. And this as well is going to return back an array. So when you run it, there's our array of item responses. So because this is an array, we can then also loop through the item responses. So let's create a variable, we'll call it items, and get the item responses. And then we can loop through this one as well. So just as we've done, we're going to loop through each one of the returned values here. So using the same for each. And we'll keep it the structure the same. So using the item there. And that's going to output the item response. So we can, from the item, we can get the question. And using the item object, we get the item. And then from the item, these are all the things that we can get from the items. So there's a lot of information there. And what we want is we want to get the title from each one of the item. And we want to get the answer from each one of the items that has been responded. So again, that's within the item. And we want to get the response back from that item. And then within the log, for now, let's log out the values. So we use the template literals there. So those are the back ticks to the left of the one key. And that will allow us to create a string. So for the question, and this is just going to be whatever we've got for the question. And then this is for the answer. And then whatever we've got for the answer. And then this way we can go through what we have and output those into the log. So let's see what we've got here. So we've got the question, select one, answer two, answer one. So that's how we can get the information. And how about we log it into a spreadsheet. So we've got a spreadsheet here. We'll create a brand new spreadsheet and we'll just call it data. Let's get the spreadsheet object ID. 
and that will allow us to get access to the spreadsheet. And then here, we'll just select the sheet ID and we'll select the entire sheet object that we want to interact with. And that will just make it really easy to append rows as we need to. So set up uh, the spreadsheet and using the spreadsheet app service and open by ID and there's the spreadsheet ID and then we can get sheet by name and then whatever we called the sheet name so this is expecting a string value so there's the data and then we can take the sheet and we can append a row and it's going to be expecting an array format for the rows so we can add in the items there within the row and let's uh, run that and then within the row we're getting the values just being appended we can also separate them out as if we want as well so use a, just a comma separate them for question and answer so that will put one in each column there and then you can update the string values as needed